Good morning. It is October something or rather. I can't really remember. 23rd maybe. Something like that. I know that tomorrow I will have been here for one month. Well, I think today is the day I'm going to attempt to film what it's like taking a nice hot bath at the Atlanta Hot Springs. It's 25. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> my uh, my flip-flop froze to the ground. Anyhow, um, it's 25 degrees out, and that's why it froze to the ground. And uh, it's going to be a cold run down there. But it'll be well worth it in the end. It's going to be a really chilly ride. I'll see you when I get there. Here we are. Oh, that looks good. That's not the hot springs there. That's just a big runoff pond, but there's some little pothole hot springs over there. And sometimes I have to wash dishes over there when the main hot springs is occupied. Okay, I'll get my stuff and I'll get up there and we'll get this party started. Oh, wow. What the hell is going on here? There's no water coming out of the pipe. Never seen that happen before. Oh, I bet it slipped off up there. It's not, uh, it's just, it just lays there and catches the water that comes down the, the hill and comes out of the hot springs. I don't have my boots on. Just got these damn flip flops. So, if I want a bath, the first thing I have to do is fix the hot springs, I guess. Fix the pipe. Ah. Can I do it? Oh yeah! Fixed it! We have water. Nice hot water. Proper Atlanta hot springs etiquette dictates that after you take a bath you pull the plug down here it's actually a board and let the hot tub drain that way the next person can fill their own bath and be assured that it's all clean not previously used water so pull the plug Draining good. The cold water over here is turned off. They use that to moderate the temperature. So we're just gonna have pure hot water. And now I gotta wait a couple minutes before I get in. Still waiting for it to drain. I'm uh, getting all my stuff out. There's my radio, it's on channel four. Cause Roger is up there on that ridge. And he's on channel four. So, got my pug, deodorant, and head and shoulders. You know what I forgot? I forgot the damn soap, and I'm not gonna go back and get it. So, this is gonna be my soap. I have to warm my head and shoulders up, otherwise it won't come out of the bottle. It's like thick glue in there. Okay, I have to put everything within arm's reach. Now for the final act of daring do. Ooh! Woo! I have to sit my butt down. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. 
I just slipped into the sweet spot. Yeah, here's where I sit. And I lean forward, put my head under there, and this way I can just sit here, pretty much lather up and let it all run down my body. See you guys in a few minutes. The locals have really made a beautiful bathing spot, relaxation spot. Actually, this place is famous across the United States and I'm sure in some parts of the world. This really, really makes living up here, especially for a month in a tent, tolerable. I'm gonna finish getting dressed, get all my stuff together, get back to camp, probably make a little bit of breakfast, and then I'm gonna get my big gun, my ATV, and I'm going to head up in the high country and see if I can spot one of those monster bucks. Uh, based or over, I'm not sure I copied that. You're watching 40 head of elk. Oh my god, that's fantastic. 